Hey guys, we uh, just returned from a camping trip from a state park and uh, we never dump there just because uh, we're ready to get out of there when we leave. And we're lucky enough to be able to uh, have a clean out at home at my building and uh, we always dump our tanks there. Today I was going to take that opportunity to uh, show you guys how that's done. I know it may be holding some people back from buying a camper that's self-contained, but it's not as bad as you'd think. Um, can get a little smelly it is a little nasty you need to wear gloves have some spray disinfectant spray you don't normally have to wear a camera but stay tuned and i'm gonna show you what it takes to empty the black tanks the gray tanks and maybe wash them out a little we've got our, our valve here underneath just to show you what, what it looks like you'll have a uh this is the black handle for the black tank and then your gray handle there for your gray tanks. Um, all campers and RVs are going to be a little different but that uh, should be the standard. So you got this cap, you got to remove this cap first before you do anything and all it takes is a twist. Sometimes a little hard but it pops right off. I like to lay that out of the way. I just fold it up under here just so it doesn't hang in front of the uh, where everything's pouring out sometimes you're gonna have a little liquid that comes out of there but uh, hopefully it's just out of your gray water because that's the last tank you'll dump next uh, find a storage whatever kind of storage you use um, I just happen to use this box I'll leave it in the back of my truck and it still clears the uh, gooseneck so this is just what we use um, a lot of bumpers on the back of a camper will accept uh, the sewer line. So in here I have a pair of Caterpillar legs. That uh, helps with drainage when you're at a full hookup site. And then we have our hoses. And I've got uh, some spray, disinfectant spray. So uh, I'm going to want to have a clear end, which I do have one. Here we go. I need to switch that out. Okay, so what we've got here, this is our clean out. And basically at a lot of campgrounds you're gonna have the same thing. It's just a four inch PVC pipe with a threaded uh, cap on it. You can unscrew the cap. Sometimes you have to use a uh, pair of pliers to get that loose. And you're gonna take this in. So you got this clear 90 degree in. Um, it's got this combed kind of deal here and that's made to fit down in here stay solid and I like to start on this end because you you want to be able to make sure anything drains in so if there's any kind of water or whatever God knows what in there when you take the cap off and you pick the end of the pipe the pipe up it's going to drain down into the uh, into the drain and not out on the ground that's the name of the game you want to try to be as clean as possible obviously Okay, so then I'm going to take this other end. These hoses normally come with caps. Pop them off. Pop that off, and they stick together, and they twist together. Easy enough. So I'm going to take the cap off of this side, stick it right here on the end, twist that on. And you should be connected. So then go back down the pipe, check all your connections. Okay, next thing to do, now that you got everything connected, you're gonna dump your black water tank first. So we're gonna pull the black handle and it's gonna start dumping. And that's dumping down on the end. And you can go to the other end and check it. And you will see that it is not very clean water. And you're going to let this run until it stops. And you can hear it going in. You can go to the other end and see. And check it out.
I don't know if you can see it, but it's still running. Okay, just gonna let that run until it stops. Once your black tank is done, you're gonna close it, and you're gonna go around to the other side. You're gonna find your gray tank, some valve. All right, and you're just gonna pull the handle on the gray tank, and the idea that's gonna be your shower water and your sink water and stuff like that, and that's gonna clean the pipe out. And it's still pretty. Disgusting at the moment. I'm gonna take a little bit of time to wash all that out. And then I'm gonna show you a few more steps to uh, get it cleaned out a little better. So you got clean water coming out now. Well, it's gray water, it's not clean, but it's not uh it's not poop. That's good. So the gray water's still draining, but I'm gonna turn it, I'm gonna shut it off for a second. should stop draining. <laughs> it did. So what I'm going to do now, I hook the uh, fresh water up. And I don't have a black water clean out on my trailer. Uh, you'll get a lot of factory trailers that have black water clean out. And those are really nice and very helpful. So a lot of times when I get back from a trip, I'll hook the water up just like I did a second ago. And I'll come in and I'll fill the toilet up. Uh, probably three or four times and dump that water into the tank let it sit a few minutes and then dump the black tank again I'm basically gonna do that until the water looks pretty good looks somewhat clear and I think we'll be able to keep it clean like this and I have another additive I'll show you later after I get everything cleaned out and uh, let's do that now so I'm gonna fill the bowl up a couple times and what you do you step on the step just a little bit, not a whole lot. The water will come out and it won't open the gate at the bottom. Okay, you're gonna fill that up. Again, I do this about three times. I fill it up as much as I can get it. Then I'll dump it. Now I filled the toilet up four times with water and I'm going to dump the uh, black tank again and I don't have my gloves on but that's okay I'll just wash my hands extra extra times so that's gonna dump it in I don't know what this is it's pretty clear so that's good so I'm gonna roll with that after this dumps out I'm gonna dump the rest of the gray tanks and then I will show you how we treat the black tank and what we treat it with. And it's been a pretty good system for our last three campers. And I think it'll work great for all campers. So while well, the black tank's dumping, uh, a few things. They make a 45 degree that goes here that is clear. Um, I've always meant to buy one, I never have. I never really needed one, but I think eventually I will get one. A um, few things, when you buy a kit, depending on which kit you buy, normally you're going to get one of these cheaper hoses. And I have two of these because I've had a couple kits. These hoses are okay, they'll last a little while, but um, we've had several that get pinholes in them and that is definitely something you do not want. So this uh, this heavier hose here, um, I'll look up the name and I'll post it below. I can't remember what they are. But anyway, I'll find it. It seems to work a lot better for us. So we've had better luck with this hose, this type. Again, I'll uh, post a link below for what, what it is. I'm sure there are nicer hoses, but uh, we've just had good luck with these. So we stick with them. I just need to buy another extension. So, I think the black tank's empty. Now I'm going to close it if I got that but anyway and I'm gonna open the gray tank up and dump the rest of that water and we should be good dumping tanks after that this is the treatment that we use for our black tanks I uh, add some to our gray tanks every now and again but not often uh, so this is a powder and it is worth everything it costs We've tried everything from the little pouches you buy at Walmart or Amazon 
uh, to other kinds of powder and nothing has worked like this. This stuff is great. I highly recommend it. I am not sponsored, but if they want to send me like a 55 gallon drum list stuff, I'll take it. And it is wonderful. So same principle. Uh, you fill the toilet up. Just get the water going. We're lucky because our toilet uh, the way it drains or where the water comes out, it kind of swirls around. And basically, you take a second, get this open. Cap just twists off. There's a cup in there. You're going to take one. One only. It says it like a hundred times on the little jar. So apparently, they mean it. I take it. I let the water start running like so. I pour the powder in, let it get mixed up in there. Again, I fill it all the way up. Get it nice and mixed up in there. And then I dump it. So I do that. I, I uh, only put one scoop and fill it up once. After that, I fill the toilet up uh, two more times, full of water, and dump it again. And over the years, that has helped the uh, stink stay in the tanks and not in the camper. Highly recommend that stuff. So two more um, fills of the toilet, dump it in the tank. The only thing about dumping at home and doing this and treating the tanks is it's, uh, I feel like it's better if we treat it at the campsite and let the treated water stay in the tank as you're driving home. I feel like it might clean a little better, but you know, we've done this several times. We've never had any issues. Um, so even if you can't travel after you treat it, I think it works well. All right. So our gray tank is empty. We're gonna close the valve, remove the pipes, and we are done emptying tanks. A couple things I should have mentioned when I was taking the hose off. Uh, take the hose off, start at the camper, disconnect it, lift the uh, hose up in the air, and walk the water down and just keep walking the hose up higher and it'll dump into the drain. You want to get all the water out of the hose because you definitely don't want that on you or anywhere else. Also, um, I use a disinfectant spray. I spray all the hoses. I spray the ends. Uh, I spray the clean out. I spray the camper end. It's good to be clean and to clean up behind yourself and make sure everything else is clean. So hopefully that helps. Also, if you're building a cargo trailer, try to put your water port a little further away from your sewer dump station area, as well as your drains down there. But the drains don't matter as much because all that water's coming out. Anyway, helpful hint if you're building a cargo trailer. But uh, you know, I just try to keep them separated as much as possible and we've been okay so far so hopefully we'll be all right so uh just to end the video it's extremely hot here um but it's really important to keep your tanks clean uh, if you don't treat them if you don't keep them clean they're going to clog up on you cause a lot of trouble down the road you sure don't want that especially when you're on vacation so uh, if you have time, if you have a place at your house, you can dump the tanks, that's even better. But um, this could be a good reason to uh, go camping during the week. And then you can go dump your tanks at the, at the dump station. And you can have plenty of time to uh, dump the tanks and get the tanks cleaned out really well and treated. And um, enjoy your week also with not as many people around. But if not, um, you know those dump tanks are there to use take your time try not to let uh the other folks there rush you through it you want to do it right but at the same time you uh you don't want to hold everybody up hopefully um 
this video helps you out and makes you not so scared to purchase a camper if you're holding off on doing that uh, definitely don't let this process hold you off it's not that hard it doesn't even smell that bad it's 90 degrees today and you're gonna smell something but it's, it's honestly it's not terrible uh, not enough to keep you from going camping camping pays pays off way more than worrying about smelly poop pipes so uh, if you got any questions leave comments below and thanks for watching